good morning guys i just woke up it's 10 a.m or 5 past 10. my alarm went off at 9 30 but i'm just i just love snoozing it's such a bad habit so then i snooze for like half an hour sometimes even 45 minutes and then I scroll my phone for like an hour and a half at least. So I'm really trying to get out of that habit. So woke up at 9.40, scrolled on my phone for like 20 minutes. And now I'm going to get up. I ordered groceries last yesterday. <clears throat> and they're going to be here in any minute. So I need to get up put on some clothes, take my groceries. Cause I, I usually don't really order groceries online. I like to just go to the grocery store, but I literally had no time, no time this week. I've gone to my family in the Netherlands. So I came back almost two weeks ago, but yeah, I just couldn't find the time to do groceries. So I just ordered it online and it comes up to like the same price anyways, because I have to get an Uber to do groceries cause I don't have a car. I've also got work today. I'll work from home, so it's okay. Got work, got a few meetings. I need to do some laundry, and then I also need to edit. I need to edit a video because tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, I don't know what that was. Anyways, tomorrow's my birthday, so I thought I'd do a little birthday vlog. I'll be honest, I wasn't really planning to do anything for my birthday, but I'm gonna go for dinner tomorrow with two of my friends. My cousins are coming over on the weekend, so yeah, I'm just going to vlog my week and kind of see, show you guys, take you guys with me. Even though I don't have much like planned, I still wanted to just vlog because you guys have been asking for a lot of vlogs and even though my life is quite boring i guess this week is not boring so anyways let me get up it is so cold outside my bed like i really don't want to get up but i have to I definitely need to get one of these feeding mats because he makes a mess every meal and he likes to go back and forth between the two between the wet and dry food and I keep trying to tell him to have the wet food first and then the dry food because someone told me that um, like the food doesn't stay stuck in their teeth and stuff then but as you can see he loves going back and forth so it is what it is so the groceries arrived this is one part and then this is another part lots of cat food because now that he's over six months Cheeto eats more food so he eats two pouches a day so one box is 12 pouches so that's like six in six days he finishes the box so and nowadays they're really hard to get I think they have production issues but the kitten ones are really hard to get so I was like let me just order them and it will save me like uber costs as well because I can't carry all of this got some eggs salt I know who even buys salt but that's like a once a year type of purchase but yeah mine finished so I have to get salt mayo I got three of these that you can keep outside of the fridge and then I got two that go in the fridge so I'm gonna finish these first obviously um, what else did I get I got some eggs rice noodles i got some like little baguettes got some olive oil but 
I got the normal one and they gave me the light in color one. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's whatever. I just use it to cook anyway, so it's fine. Um, what do we have on this side? Lots of tin food because I feel like that's like my main thing. Um, when I say tin food, I don't mean like ready-made tin food that you just put in a microwave. I just mean like things like chickpeas, pinto beans, uh, what else do we have here? And then lots of peeled tomatoes that I use to make pasta sauce. Then we got some pasta, uh, linguine, garlic mayo, because I really wanted some cooked garlic mayo. In the Netherlands, we have this thing called brown beans. I can't find it here, but it looks very similar to this. So I think it's pinto beans. Um, and I use that to make food breakfast, so... I'm gonna try it, making it with these. Then we have some, as the British like to call it, squash. In the Netherlands, we call it lemonade. <laughs> I have some lemon juice, even though I thought this would be bigger. This is so tiny. Anyways, got some bananas. Got some baby potatoes, but these are very big. These are not baby potatoes. My favorite ice cream ever. Some Greek yogurt, my favorite as well. I got some turkey salami. We're gonna try it out. I'm not really big on like meat on my sandwiches and stuff, but one thing I love is salami and I really don't like to eat pork. So when I saw this, I was like, let me try it out. Got some cheese. This was not the type that I ordered, but they sold out. So what they do basically is if your uh, product is sold out, they will get you a substitute. So yeah. I'm not really picky with my cheese. To be honest, I am, but I'm also not. Bean sprouts, love this in my stir fries. Shrimps or prawns, whatever you want to call it. Frozen carrots, frozen green beans. Got some apples. Uh, I got three red bell peppers. And then I got some mandarins, tangerines, sweet clams, whatever you want to call them. So what I like to do is, most of the things like beans I order frozen. This is the first time I ordered frozen carrots, but I thought it's just so much more conveni convenient than buying carrots, cutting them up, and then putting them in the freezer. I got some bean sprouts, I, can, I put these in the freezer as well. And then my bell peppers, I cut them up and put them in the freezer. So vegetables used to go bad in my house all the time. But now that I've started doing this, so basically like prepping them and then putting them in the freezer, they last so much longer. And it's also so much easier because it's already cut up. So it will take me like sometimes up to half an hour to cut up all the vegetables that I bought. Right now it's just mainly this that needs to be cut, so it's okay. Usually I also get zucchini and things like that. Uh, but I still had some zucchini from our last grocery shop. But yeah, I like to cut it up. And then it saves you so much time when you're cooking. All you have to do is cut up your onions and garlic and then just add your vegetables from the freezer. So yeah, that is my grocery shop. Now that I'm looking at it, it's like, how did I even spend 100 pounds on this? Like, it's not even that much. But I do have to say, all his food was like 30 pounds. 30 or 35. So in reality, I spent about 60 pounds on or 65 on uh, the groceries, which is still pretty expensive, especially considering the fact that this doesn't have any, like, the only thing is this, king prawns, and I think this was four pound, and then this salami, which was like two pound. So that's the only meat I have in here. So it's very weird that these groceries just keep going up and up. Get your ass.
class, an apartment, put you inside a G class. That's just a starter. Can plenty things count in life, but none of them is the thought of it. New piece around my neck, this chess games, the shorty stay with calculated moves. So I'm going to start working now. It's been a little bit of a late morning, but I just had to get those things out of the way. And the delivery came quite late as well. It was supposed to be between 10 and 11, and he literally came like 10 minutes before 11. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to work now. It's fine, it just means I need to work a little bit longer later. Um, but yeah, there's loads to do, so I'm gonna get started on work. This is the reality of working from home. You know, uh, I'm very blessed with my job because, first of all, my meetings are usually just with my boss uh, and we have our cameras off most times so I don't really have to get changed but if I do have a meeting which I do in 25 minutes I just get changed and you know still have my little blanket because my apartment is literally freezing in the winter time and I really can't afford to have the heater on 24 7 with these expensive ass gas prices in the UK right now. Just cozy up with a little blanket and my robe and that's how I work. And then when I have a meeting, I'll change. Um, so I'm gonna quickly eat and do some work, answer some emails because I have a meeting in 25 minutes. So I need to be prepared for that as well. And yeah, let's get to work. Okay, I literally just finished my meeting and my ASOS package came. So fun fact, I ordered these heels from ASOS, paid for next day delivery and everything because I want to wear this tomorrow and they ended up being too small, which is crazy because it's a UK size 6 and I'm usually a 5.5 so I usually get either 5 or size 6, but a 6 is so small. Um, but I think it's also because of the type of shoes it is. Because it's like these pointy stilettos and these type of heels are not my thing at all. But with the outfit that I want to wear, I need these shoes. So let's try them on. They look so big, damn. Oh yeah, this is much, much better. Let me show you guys. Do you see, by the way, the work from home outfit in my pajamas and I just put a sweater on top? So these are the heels. I don't know, they're a little big, you know. Which is crazy, because the other ones were way too small. Like, when I tell you, I like them, but they are a little bit on the bigger side. Which is crazy, because the other ones were way too small. And these are like, it's okay though, it's perfect, I think. I really hate these type of heels, but we gotta do what we gotta do. You know those TikToks where they're like dancing on their parents' heels? <laughs> but yeah, I think this is cute. I do feel like it looks a little big, like it makes my feet look super big. But it is what it is. I'm wearing this jumpsuit, which I am obsessed with. But I'm going to show you guys my outfit tomorrow. Hopefully it looks good, everything looks good because I did not like... <laughs> I have not tried it on yet. So if it doesn't work out... I will probably cry. I'm gonna continue working now for a few hours because I really need to get some stuff done. And my battery is already halfway, so I'm gonna charge my camera battery while I'm working. But I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. This is the real me, no makeup me, headscarf me, half pajamas, half sweater, no bra me. <laughs> But yeah, I this is the real me, this is my real life, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Before I get back to work, I want to put you guys onto this water bottle. I promise to God this is not sponsored. I wish it was sponsored, but this is not sponsored. This is a Brita water bottle. Some of you may already know about the Brita brand, but if you didn't know, they also do water bottles with filters inside. So, you have like this truck. Damn. You have like this charcoal filter. I think it's charcoal, I'm not really sure what it is. But it's a filter and I can drink tap water now. And tap water in the UK, you can actually drink it, but I hate the taste of it. Coming from the Netherlands, which is 
is kind of known for a really good drinking water and it literally has like no flavor nothing but here even the smell of it the taste of it it just tastes like chemicals to me so I was tired of spending money on bottled water all the time and if you know me I literally drink so much water like I don't even really buy other other drinks in the house like even in the food shop that you saw this morning there was no drinks just squash and this water and oat milk so yeah, water is a big thing to me and this was 10 pound. The refill is like 15 pound for three discs and one disc will last you for a month. So that's like five pound a month basically. And it's amazing. It makes the water taste even better than bottled water. Like it's so good and I love it. And I also have the big Brita jug that you can like fill with water. Um, that was going viral on TikTok a while ago. <laughs> Because apparently, if you pour alcohol into it, you don't taste the bitter taste of alcohol. So when you take a shot, you don't get that ah flavor. Uh, I really want to try it, but <laughs> let me, you know, calm down. Anyways, I'm going to get back to work and I will catch you guys when I'm done working. Right now, it is 2.35. Um, I've just done some work. And I'm gonna make a coffee, so I thought, let me grab my camera and talk to you guys while I do it. I am actually gonna turn on the heating because it's starting to get really cold in this house. Let me turn off this background music before I get copyrighted. I love listening to like background music when I'm working or editing or something like that. But not like lyrical music, because then I end up getting distracted. So I put on these like jazz playlists on YouTube. And they always have like this super cute aesthetic. Sometimes it's like a cozy fireplace or something like that. And yeah, I just love it. I just love having like that cozy vibe. Cheeto loves it too. It calms him down, <laughs> which he definitely needs because sometimes he just acts so crazy during my meetings and stuff. So he's sleeping now. Also look how much he torn up his bed when he i put him in a cattery when i was um going to my family in the netherlands and usually he likes it there but this time as you can see like he tore up his old bed so i don't think i'm gonna take him back there i'm going to make um a latte with my nespresso machine this is their Arochino, i think number three if you take off this ring then you won't have foam. So I know some people like foam, I don't. I worked at Starbucks for those of you who don't know and lattes actually don't, are not supposed to have that much foam. Cappuccinos are supposed to have a lot of foam. Lattes are just like, oh my God, Cheeto is blocking this whole shot. It's because he sees me using oat milk and he loves oat milk, so. Let me give him some so he can. As I was saying, by the way, I made sure that this is not toxic for him <laughs> before some of you come for me. I googled it and oat milk is safe in small amounts, of course, so I usually just literally put like a drop of oat milk there and then he enjoys it. Oh my god, I thought I was recording all this time, but I wasn't. Anyways, I just put like a teaspoon of vanilla syrup in here because I don't like my thing too sweet. This is the... Orafio coffee. It's an espresso. It's from Nespresso. Let's put it in here. And we press the button. And the milk is done. It ended up still foamy though. Oh well. It is what it is. And then I just pour it in. Okay, you guys are gonna see Cheeto blocking the view a lot in this video and I apologize in advance. Also, my MacBook is updating, so I have to wait. It says four minutes remaining, we'll see what it really is because if you have a MacBook, you know that updating the software, sometimes it can take ages and I'm hoping this doesn't take long, um, but I'm just taking, taking it as my coffee break. I don't like to vlog that much, especially inside the house, is because I feel so pressured to make everything look perfect. 
And you know when you watch those vlogs on YouTube and their house is like super perfect, really nice, everything tidy, they don't have anything, like they don't have no cables in the back looking like a mess and all of that stuff and and I feel like it is kind of unrealistic but I still give myself like I need to match that standard like my house needs to be flawless, perfect, tidy but in reality like if I would show you around my house right now I would think it's a mess um, and that's just because I have so much stuff like when you work from home and you don't really have an office space your whole living room ends up being your office and it's really annoying. I use my dining table as my desk. If I would show you my desk right now, it's not even that much, it's just, it's a small table. So I'm just gonna be transparent with you guys and show you what it looks like. Brace yourselves. This is my desk. So I have my mouse here and I use this notebook as a mouse pad. Then I have my notebook for work here and my phone with a charger cable. My pen, pencil, um, lip balm, glasses, phone stand, my laptop with a charger. And then in the back I just have sticky notes, chewing gum. This is my pencil case because I don't have a pencil case. <laughs> a notebook, my hard drive, and this is actually my case for my glasses. And then here I have my chargers and my to-do list. So it's not even that much, but it just feels like it's such a like cluttered mess. But it's really not even that much, and I kind of need everything besides this stuff. I could put this away, but like, you know, sticky notes and stuff, you kind of have that. You need to have that in reach. So it's kind of annoying. Like, I never feel like at ease, like everything looks good and tidy. But yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on being more consistent on YouTube and TikTok and everything. Working on my business so that I can have another income stream so that I can move out of this place. Because this place is expensive. It's a new build apartment and it's still expensive. It's not like, it's just weird because it's like, it's spacious but it's also not. And I think it has a lot to do with like the storage space and the way that it's been built. So it looks super spacious when you first walk in, but then you realize that this living area, for example, it's really not that that big. Um, so yeah, I, I really want to move out and find another place, but yeah, everything in God's timing. Also, I'm not going to come on here and lie to you guys, say that I'm rich or whatever and all of that stuff because, you know, student life is not the rich life. <laughs> I will be rich, you know, I will be financially free in a few years, hopefully, God willing, but until then, I'm not scared to show you guys both the struggle and the end results, you know, so yeah, cheers to that. I also, I think I need to stop talking so much because this is going to be five days and of vlogging and if I talk this much and it's not even 3 p.m., and we've got five more days. This vlog is gonna be like an hour, so. So here's my lunch. <laughs> Apple with cinnamon and sugar and one slice of toast with cheese and beef salami. And we're gonna try out and see if it's good. I think it is good though, because it smells really nice. Let's, let's do a first reaction. Mmm. That is really nice. Okay, I'm going to edit and eat this food, and then I'll see you guys in the next clip, I guess. Because it's all, it's very easy to trust God when everything is going good and to have faith and stuff like that, but to be honest. Hey guys, so I keep forgetting to pause the music because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. These are my blue light glasses, by the way. Um, what did I want to say? Yeah, I'm still editing, but I realize it's 6.15, so I should probably have dinner, get changed, and go. Um, because like I said, I have this church gathering that I need to go to. Um, and then I'm going to come back and finish editing. I really need to finish this tonight. And then, hopefully I have time to watch the new Love is Blind episodes, because I think the last two episodes came out yesterday. So then I'm going to watch that. Midnight is my birthday and go to sleep. It really, that's actually crazy. Like, 
I don't think I'm realizing that tomorrow's my birthday and for someone who really loves to celebrate their birthday like I'm always that type of person that starts making plans like three months in advance so this is like the first time that I'm actually like not really doing much for my birthday whatever I do have planned is super last minute so yeah even my outfit like I wasn't planning to buy a new outfit I was just walking I went to Zara to get a new perfume because by the way if you don't know Zara perfumes yet get to know because they're so good especially for like the everyday type of perfume anyways I went in there to get a in there to get a perfume and then I saw this jumpsuit on TikTok. I was like oh my god that is so gorgeous and then I struggled to find it and they had one last pair that the worker she literally got it for me she got it somewhere from the back so it was one size smaller but it was so over like it was pretty oversized so it fit really well and then I found my outfit <laughs> so I was like now that I have an outfit I have to make plans so I just made dinner plans with my friends and then on the weekend I made plans with my cousins so yeah it's gonna be fun <sighs> hey guys so I just got home I'm actually taking off my shoes right now um, it was really nice actually that group it's just like a group of young people we played uno the card game uno you know whatever you want to call it i think this was my first time like playing uno in my adult life <laughs> i haven't played uno ever in my maybe once before but it was a very long time ago so it was really fun and then there was another card game it was called Christian something, Christian card game probably. And it was just like questions, like conversation starters and things like that. So yeah, it was really nice. And it was just nice to be outside the house, socialize with people, especially because I work from home, like I said, so I'm quite isolated. And then I don't really know that many people in the city. So yeah, it's good to meet new people um, and just connect. So yeah, I went, let me put on my slippers so I can show you guys. By the way, my laundry is drying up there, so don't mind that. But I went past the supermarket. I know I did groceries, literally ordered groceries this morning, but I decided I want to make a cake for my birthday. So I've got some milk, whole milk, literally the tiniest package because I don't drink milk. Um, so I got this one. I'm gonna use half of it and then my cousin can drink the other half and then I got some sugar as well and I'm gonna try to make a loaf cake so yeah but first I need to edit my video because that's a priority and I haven't finished it yet and it's just so much footage so it is right now it's almost 10 already okay I don't know if I'm gonna have time for Love is Blind, so I'm gonna finish editing my video, hopefully within the next hour, and then I'm gonna bake a cake while watching Love is Blind. So that's the plan. Okay, so I've just finished editing and I was actually airdropping some of the pictures that I took to my phone so that I have some pictures to post for tomorrow on Instagram. And it is exactly 10.57, so basically 11 p.m. So, I'm gonna bake my cake while watching Love is Blind. We have a challenge though because I don't have a whisker or a mixer, so I'm gonna make this cake better using a fork. And hopefully it works. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, then we have a problem. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the cake batter came out really well. It was super easy to mix with just a fork, to be honest. Here I am licking the rest of the leftovers. But, um... I made way too much and I only have a small cake tin so I'm gonna put this in the fridge until that one comes out and then I'm going to let it cool take it out put this one in the oven it's either that or if I'm too tired I'm just going to bake it tomorrow morning because it's almost midnight right now so I don't know if I want to stay up that late and I don't know what I'm gonna do with two cakes also <laughs> Okay, so I'm watching, this lighting is very bad, but I'm watching Love is Blind and I keep forgetting about the time, so 
It's 57 right now. My birthday is in three minutes. And I'm finishing the leftover ravioli that I couldn't even finish eating earlier today because I was so hungry. I mean, I was in such a rush, so. And ravioli is quite filling, so. I just wanted to finish it now. My mom just called me to say happy birthday because first of all, she tried to, what the hell, Cheeto, what's wrong with you? Yeah, my mom called me to say happy birthday because she couldn't, she tried to stay up until midnight UK time because she's in the Netherlands, so they were one hour ahead of us. So it was already midnight there. Um, so yeah, she just wanted to say happy birthday. I just wanted to get the midnight countdown on this vlog. This lighting is so bad. Oh God, okay, maybe this is better. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday to me. With my ravioli. I have a bottle of champagne in the fridge. Which, fun fact, it's actually rosé, but it's like a rosé champagne, whatever. It's from my last birthday last year, and I never got to open it then, so I just kept it in the fridge. And every time I thought, oh, I'll open it on that occasion or on that occasion, and I would just forget to open it. So tomorrow, I have to open it and drink it. It is officially November the 10th. Please don't mind my phone, as you can see. It's got, like, it's really bad. My face ID doesn't even work anymore, but... I'm trying to get a new iPhone this week But it's probably gonna go into next week. Okay three things. I'm grateful for This year like the 23rd year of my life so I'm grateful for Completing my masters Thankful proud I guess you could say I'm thankful for the people in my life, I think this year has really, really shown me, this year and last year has really, really showed me that the people that I have right now in my circle are really, really, really good people. And I'm just really thankful for them and my family, of course, as well. And I'm also thankful for the opportunities that God gives, has given me this year. Okay, see, the birthday texts are gonna start coming in now. Yeah, by the way, I'm not trying to sound popular. <laughs> but, like, me and my friends, we always, always, like, say happy birthday to each other when it hits midnight. That's just the thing that we do. So, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm really grateful for where I'm in my life right now. I feel like this is gonna be, like, 24 is gonna be a new chapter because I'm actually entering like a new phase of my life right now. I know everyone says like, oh, this year is gonna be a new chapter, whatever, but for me, it really is because I'm leaving behind like the education part of my life and I'm going into the work, workforce now, workforce, work field, whatever it's called. So I am officially not a student anymore. So that's really exciting slash scary. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to just working, being able to make a stable income. Because, you know, as a student, you're always juggling all these things. I had to pay for my master's, like, monthly payments, which was more than my rent. And my student finance doesn't cover everything. So I had to work on the side as well to be able to afford everything. So I'm really f looking forward to... Hi, finally having some financial stability and also being able to travel more being able to spend more time with my friends learning more about myself and you know what I made a realization today I was thinking like I was editing my video right and I was, t I was talking about how content creation is really hard but if you're consistent enough and you put in the work you can get there and I was talking about how uh, Patricia Bright and Jackie Aina like really only blew up after like eight years on YouTube and I was thinking like okay eight years from now I am turning 24 now so if I would blow up in eight years I would be 32 which is still super young 
So it's like, why am I, why am I trying to rush the process when I should just enjoy the process? I should just enjoy being able to work while also doing content because when you do full-time content creation, there's also going to be times where you're like, oh, I wish I just had a nine to five job because it's hard. Being a content creator full time, you have to spend time on social media as well to be like up to date with all the trends and everything and the conversations that are going on on social media. You can't just not be on social media, like not consume social media, but post on it. Like it goes hand in hand. So taking a break is also really hard. So I think I'm just going to try to enjoy the process. I guess Cheeto agrees. <laughs> And yeah, my pasta is getting cold, but yeah, I'm going to finish this food. I'm gonna watch my Love is Blind. I'm gonna taste my cake, and that's it. I don't know why the sides are a little bit burnt, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's still super soft, and I think it came out pretty well. I just didn't check on it often enough. So I think I'm gonna do the second one tomorrow morning. And just leave this to rest for now. I don't think even I'm gonna taste it. I'm just gonna take my iPad to bed, watch, finish the episode of Love is Blind, and go to sleep. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's not really morning. It is 12, 10 past 12. I woke up at 10, and I slept pretty late. I slept at like 3 a.m. Because I was watching Love is Blind. <laughs> And then I woke up to some noise outside on the street, which was very annoying. And then I just didn't go back to sleep. And then I opened my phone and there's like so many birthday wishes and stuff. So I was just responding to all my texts. And then I decided to finish watching the reunion of Love is Blind, which is crazy but also i expected a little bit more juice so yeah i just spent two hours chilling in bed what a perfect way to start your birthday uh but now my stomach is making noise i'm actually hungry so i'm gonna get up feed my cat feed myself put the second cake batter in the oven because i made too much batter yesterday so i'm gonna make two cakes but i'm gonna have the one cake for breakfast now and I'm gonna probably pop my champagne bottle afterwards when I'm getting ready. And now my family is calling me, so I'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay, so the cake was stuck. It got stuck in the tin. I just had to wash this off. Probably because it was burnt a little bit, as you can see. But it tastes so good. And this part is still, like, good. It is very, very sweet, though. The recipe called for two cups, two and a half cups of sugar, I think. Can definitely do less sugar. Okay, so I just made a little cheese and salami sandwich. And now I'm going to make my oops, iced latte. Which, if you've watched my Nespresso unboxing video, you already know how I make this. But I'm going to show you guys again. Because apparently this is, this is like... I don't know, all my friends tried it and loved it, so I thought it was just normal. But I think it's because I used to work at Starbucks and I just used that same recipe. Very simple and pretty straightforward. So, Cheeto, please move out of my shot for once. Jesus. So, first things first, vanilla syrup. Just freestyle it, not too much because it's pretty sweet. You put your Nespresso pod in the machine, uh, the espresso in here. You can do a double espresso if you want, because this is quite a big cup, so I just use a single espresso and then I add, I don't add too much milk. But if you want to fill it up all the way, then do a double espresso. Got my espresso. You want to swirl it a little bit so that it gets mixed with the syrup, but it should be fine. Then I add a lot of ice, like I love to use a lot of ice. I used to buy ice cubes, but I go through that bag so quick, I was like, I need to save money, let me just get ice trays and fill them up. And usually I drink like one iced coffee a day, so once I, fit, once I empty this tray, I just fill it up straight away with water, put it in the freezer, and then the next day it's ready to go again. So yeah, I guess it's not even that much ice, so I'm gonna use... 
went in my pocket. And then you add your milk. Just like that. It looks like it's really full, but because of the ice, it kind of makes everything go up. And then you mix. Literally perfect. Hey guys, so it's 2.30. I should probably get in the shower and start getting ready just because I don't really want to rush. And I might want to take a few outfit pictures before I leave. Uh, so the reservation is at 7.30, so it should be fine. I should have enough time. But I need to shower, install my wig, and do my makeup. So hopefully... I'm thinking one hour for the makeup, one hour for the hair. So hopefully it should all work out fine. I low-key feel like, oh, I think I have a little bit of social anxiety because I always make plans because I feel like so isolated because I work from home. But when it comes to the actual time of the plans, I'm like, oh, I wanna just lay in bed all day or like stay on the sofa, watch YouTube or Netflix. Like I've been doing this whole day. Anyways, I'm going to shower, do my hair and makeup, and then... Anyways, I'm going to shower, do my hair and makeup, get ready, and then get going. Also, if you're wondering what all this stuff is, this is literally Cheeto leaving his mark on me. It's so frustrating. Like, I even have it on the back of my arms. Like, especially when he was younger, as a kitten, he used to scratch a lot. And I let him play with my hands, so he kind of, like, does it, like, in a playful way. But I had to start cutting his nails because it was getting too much. Okay, I just did my hair while being on FaceTime with my family. It's 5.35, so I have an hour and a half to do my makeup, get dressed and tidy up the house a little bit so hopefully i'll make it in time uh but i need to stop vlogging stop being on my phone stop picking up phone calls and just get ready <laughs> oh my god you guys i was in such a rush because i spent like a lot of time facetiming with my family while i was getting ready so it slowed down the process but it's exactly 7 p.m Dinner is in 30 minutes, the reservation, so I'm good. And I'm ready. So I wanted to show you guys the fit. This jumpsuit, I fell in love. I literally saw one TikTok of this jumpsuit and I was like, I need to get it. Today's fragrance, Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. Already sprayed some. And then I think I'm gonna add a necklace. If you guys know Shoshana Rose, I think is her second name on YouTube. She started a jewelry brand called Peak Jewels and I once won a giveaway. So this is like my favorite necklace. I don't know if she's still doing it, but I really like this necklace. This is the necklace. I think it looks cute. Yeah, I think it's good. Just a simple necklace. And then I went on a hunt for heels and a bag. Found this bag to match my heels. It's not a bag that I would usually go for, but it is what it is. And it was pretty cheap, it was 20 pounds from Mango. And my heels are downstairs, so I'm gonna show you guys the full fit downstairs. Okay, this is the fit. Very awkward angle, but <laughs> I need to book my Uber. Anyways, jumpsuit, Zara. Heels are ASOS. Bag is Mango. Hair is Arabella hair. Face is me. <laughs> I love it. I don't even have a full body mirror, so I just have to trust that this looks good.
Hey guys, so I just got home. It's 10:30. I don't know why I feel so tired. Like I've been out the whole day. I went out to eat at 7:30, so I don't know why I feel so tired when all I did was sit. And I didn't even eat that much. I don't know why, but lately my appetite is so messed up. I might have to repeat this outfit on Saturday because I feel like I haven't worn it enough. And I might want more pictures in it, so yeah, I might have to wear it on Saturday. Anyways, it was a fun night, it was a chill dinner. There was this woman that was playing live violin, and it was so beautiful, like I just couldn't stop recording her. Every time we would grab our phone or I would grab my camera and just record her, or just not even record her, like at first when she started, we literally stopped eating and just stared at her play and listen to her music because it was so beautiful like it made me realize like wow violin is actually gorgeous like beautiful sound she was lovely as well like she kept coming to us because I feel like we were really giving her the credit and like the attention everyone was just eating and not paying much attention to her but we were like so shocked like this is beautiful so yeah, it was really nice. The food was good too. I Although I do have to say, last time I went to Cavalli, it was better food. This time, I don't know if it was because I wasn't that hungry or what, but it was, it was average. I enjoyed my night. It was good. I am going to remove my makeup now, chill for a bit, and tomorrow I have to work. I'm really happy with how my hair and makeup turned out today. This wig has become my go-to wig these past few months just because it's so easy to install like it literally doesn't disappoint I had my phase this year where I was going for these really big dramatic lashes and now I'm back to the natural lashes and I love it this was my birthday tomorrow's Friday I'm gonna work so I'm probably not gonna vlog that much I have a bunch of meetings and stuff as well and then Saturday is when my cousins are coming over I thought it was just gonna be two of my cousins but another cousin of mine surprised me and it's coming from Holland so it's gonna be three of them all three guys so I'm kind of scared because they are trying to get lit and I don't know if I can catch up with them it's gonna be fun they're all gonna stay over at mine uh, I don't think we're gonna be sleeping because we're not gonna have that much space like I just told them you three can have my bed I'll sleep on the sofa <laughs> But I don't know if they can even fit in my bed because they're all like super tall as well. But yeah, that's for them to figure out. Anyways, so yeah, that, those are my plans for Saturday. Sunday, it's probably just going to be a chill day because they're going to be here still. They're all leaving on Sunday. And then Monday, my friend Miku is coming over uh, because she couldn't get time off work this weekend. So she's coming on Monday to still kind of celebrate my birthday. So yeah, and then that will be the end of the vlog, Monday. I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you all for the amazing birthday wishes. Oh my god, I got so many birthday wishes. I've just been avoiding Instagram today, to be honest. Thank you everyone for all the birthday wishes. I feel all the love. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So thank you to every single one of you. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Friday today, the day after my birthday and it's actually evening, it's almost 6 p.m. I didn't vlog that much today because I didn't vlog at all today because I was just working to be honest. I woke up quite late because I was super tired for some reason. When I woke up, I got straight into work mode and I just finished working so I am going to make some food or warm up some food rather because I barely had any of the food yesterday at the, what is it called, at the restaurant. So I have my butter chicken, a little bit of leftover rice, and some naan bread as well. So I'm just going to have that for dinner. I ordered some chai syrup because lately I've been really obsessed with dirty chais. And in general, I really like chai lattes from Starbucks specifically. So I was like, this is getting a little bit expensive, this habit. So I really like making my coffees at home. So I was like, let me try order some chai tea syrup and make it at home myself. All my cups are in a dishwasher right now. So I can't wait to try it out. I'm probably going to try it out tomorrow though. And make myself a chai latte. 
or a dirty try. Anyways, I also ordered this, a card game called Shot in the Dark. So my cousins are coming over tomorrow and they are trying to get lit. And they asked me if I have card games, so I was like, say no more, I'm ordering it, Amazon Prime, boom. Ordered it last night, after midnight even, and it arrived today, so that's really great. So yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow, actually. My cousins are coming over. We're gonna go for dinner at Tattoo, a fancy restaurant here in Birmingham. I've been once, it was alright. The restaurant is beautiful, so I'm really looking forward to going there again tomorrow and trying out their food, because I only had one thing last time. And it was alright, but I think they have better things on the menu. So yeah, we're going to Tattoo, then we're going to Turtle Bay, which is a cocktail bar. And they do two for one on cocktails. Yeah, it's like the place to be for everyone, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it's like a typical UK thing though. So um, we're going there and then we're coming to my place. So the thing is, there's three guys, so my cousins, they're all guys, they're all tall and big. And it's like, I don't even have a mattress. And I just told them, I'll sleep on the sofa. You guys figure out what you're gonna do, how you're gonna sleep in my bed. Cause my bed is pretty big. So it should be enough, like my friends have slept in it, three or four people together. So it should be, it should be okay, hopefully, fingers crossed. But my bed is very, very fragile. So I'm gonna have to tell them, just be careful when you go to sit on the bed because if you sit on it too hard, it will crack. But I'm really excited to show you guys what the rest of the weekend is gonna look like, so. I will catch you guys tomorrow. I just wanted to say hi. Wait, I just remembered. This cake came out so well. I wrapped it up now, but it's so good. And this is the one where I left the batter in the fridge and made it, baked it the next morning. This one, on the other hand, is the one that I made fresh and it got stuck in the pan and it got all crumbled up. It's still good though, it's still really good, but it's like, this one is really good. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Saturday. Damn, my mirror is dirty. I need to clean it. Anyways, I am out of breath because I just walked up the stairs, but I, um, I've literally spent the whole day cleaning, so that's why I haven't been vlogging much today. And now I just installed my wig again, and now I'm gonna do my makeup, get ready. My cousins are on the way, so I wanna be ready before they come so that I can just chill and they can get ready, do whatever they want, shower, whatever it is they need to do. And then our reservation is at 8.30, so. I am going to finish doing my hair. I think I'm gonna wear the same outfit as Thursday because I wanna take some more pictures and probably um, like film a reel in it. You know when you have an outfit put together and you feel like you didn't get the most out of it? Like I feel like I only wore it for two hours and then that's it. <laughs> I, I did get some pictures in it, but I feel like I can do better, so I'm just gonna rewear the outfit. But I need to find some soles, so like shoe soles, because the heels were a little bit big. So I'm gonna ask, I asked my cousin to uh, get some on the way here, so yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. I am gonna finish getting ready before they come here, and yeah, hopefully this will be a fun night. Hey guys, so. I just finished getting ready. My cousins are here. Uh, we're about to open some champagne and then we're gonna get going to dinner. Drinks and then we'll be back. I don't know if I'm gonna take my camera with me because I don't know. Sunday, should I take my camera? Should I vlog? Might as well. Yeah, that works. All right, then. We're gonna I down this fun. shit to health and wealth and Oh, why? Uh, Jeez. That's been there for a year. Yep. <laughs> you, champagne is supposed to be good after longer. It says isn't it's duty it? from 12 I'm pretty sure that's wine. So, huh? I'm pretty sure that's wine, but you know. It's the same though. It's yeah. just wine with bubbles. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feeling young, but they treat.
treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this shit, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who know those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they threw on my name turned to soil and I grew up by it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. Two days later. Hey guys, so today's Monday. <laughs> that weekend was. It was very lit, but yesterday, it, I was so tired, I was hungover, and me and my cousins just spent the day chilling at home until they left. So, yeah, it was very much fun. I know I didn't really vlog that much Saturday night, but after we went to Turtle Bay to get some cocktails, and then after that we just went home, and we continued the party at home. And I wasn't really vlogging, so I just, I don't know, I just wanted to enjoy with my family, so I didn't really vlog that much. Also, we were listening to a lot of music and stuff, so, you know, copyright issues. But uh, yeah, it was definitely very much fun. And then yesterday, like I said, hungover, everyone was hungover and tired, so I'm glad that I didn't vlog yesterday, because you would have been shocked by the way we were looking. So yeah, it is 2.15 on a Monday. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in this vlog, Miku, my friend, was supposed to come today uh, and spend the day with me, but we had to reschedule, which to be honest, I'm really thankful for because I am so tired and this house is looking like a mess as if we've had a party with 30 people in here, but it was literally just the four of us. So I'm about to go to the store, buy a bunch of cleaning supplies because I need to restock my cleaning supplies and then clean this whole house. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Cheeto wants to say hi. Chitty! It was definitely... Okay, no. <laughs> it was definitely a fun birthday week slash weekend. Do you want to say hi or not, Cheeto? Cheeto, say bye everyone! Chitty! Anyways, it was definitely a fun weekend. I really enjoyed myself, but... Now I'm definitely ready to get back to reality, back to work, and back to the grind. <laughs> because I honestly have a lot of things that I need to work on, a lot of different, like... I really just want to sit down and plan out my weeks. So I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it was not all over the place. Um, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Because I feel like I didn't do that much, but I also did. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Like I felt really loved on my birthday. So thank you to everyone who sent me a message or commented saying happy birthday. And thank you for your support, of course. I am back on the YouTube and the TikTok and Instagram. Mm, I'm not I'm not feeling Instagram like that anymore, but <laughs> We'll see. Anyways, make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram while you're at it, at Lillian's Egg Guy. And don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Because I really want to get to 20k by the end of next year. Because this year is literally finished. So 20k is my goal for... Or 25k maybe. 20k is my goal for 2023. So make sure to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below so we can boost the algorithm because right now, because I've been so inconsistent, the algorithm is not loving me. It's not pushing out my videos the way it used to. So please make sure to like this video, comment, and share it with your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.